Hello everybody, today we're going to be learning about graphs and uh, this course is specifically for grade 7. Now before we move on, just a quick warm up. Um, not, not this one. Math warm up. Here we have a tiny question. Uh, which says, for the expression x plus 3, work out the value of the expression when x is equals to 4. Um, and x is equals to 1.5. So we have different values of x here. So let's start with um, a, okay? Um, so this is the expression x plus 3. So what's changing here is the x value. And um, since we're solving a, we take out or just throw away the x and bring in the 4 because they said that the x is 4. And now you just solve it, you get 7. Let's move on to b. Now, same thing, x is um, 1.5 now, so just move the x and bring 1.5 in. And at 1.5 plus 3 is equal to 4.5. Now for c, we have a negative value, again, x plus 3, take out the x, bring in the 9, negative 9, negative 9 plus 3. So you can, uh, a quick analogy here, you can imagine that negative 9 means an, a really angry person, and you give that guy a bit of positivity, in his life, you know, add some positivity in his life, so he's going to be a little less negative than before, but still negative. So 9 minus 3 is equal to negative 6. For C, I'm, I want you to do it, so I'll be revealing the answer in um, 3, 2, 1. This is um, one last question before we move on to our lesson for the expression 4x work out the value of the expression when x is equals to 2 and when x is equals to negative 3 so we know that there's 4 and x involved in this expression x is changing here as you can see and um if you remember when there's nothing in between these two um uh, this letter and the number, you can just assume that it's multiplying. So bring out the x, add the 2, 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Same thing with b, 4 times negative 3 is equal to negative 12. Now let's move on to graph. So graphs are used to describe the connection between two variables. For example, what is the connection between the mass of a baby and its age? And what's the connection between the profits of a company and how, how does it vary? Now let's look at an example of a function that shows the relationship between two variables. This is Mariam. Mariam is six years older than her brother, Jamal. So, I want you to think, when Jamal would be four years old, how old do you think Mariam would be? That's right, Mariam will be ten years old. And how can we represent this function? How can we turn this into a function? Using algebra. We can represent Mariam as m and Jamal as J. So we know that Mariam is six years old, older, uh, six years older than her brother Jamal. So Jamal plus six is equals is equal to her sister's age. And that's it. Easy, right? Now we'll be plotting graph for this function right here, y is equals to x plus 3. But before we can plot the graph, we need to know the coordinates. 
So we are varying the x values here, and from that we have to find out what is y, what's the value of y. So to do this in Excel, type in equal sum and select this box because it's x plus 3, so x here is negative 4, and you have to plus this with 3, enter, and you get negative 1. And now you can apply all of this to uh, this whole row, and it will do the same thing, same function, to all of these cells. Now that we know our y values, we also know the coordinates. So the coordinates for this first point, it is, we start with the with the x values, it is negative 4 and negative 1. And the second point on the graph would be negative 3. So we start from the x and negative 0 uh, and 0 is the y value, negative 2, 1, and now you get the idea. Now let us make a line graph, okay, in Excel. So you go to insert, select the values first, go to insert, go here, click on this scatter slash um, line graph, and now you can see it all clearly. And you see that this is when the x value is negative 4, the y value is negative 1. When the x value is, let's say, negative 1, the y value is 2. So Excel just did that for us. We have another question relating the graph that we drew just now. And this is show that the point negative 24, negative 12 is on the line, but that the point 15 and 30 is not on the line. 
So let's look at this coordinate first. So we know that this is the function 0 0.5 multiplied by x. So in this coordinate, negative 24 is the is the x value, negative 12 is the y value. And so we can substitute 24 in the place of x. And when we multiply 0 0.5 by negative 24, we get negative 12. And negative 12 is the y value, hence this point is on the, on the line. So um, this just shows that when the x value is negative 4, the, the y value would be negative 12. And for this point, negative uh, 15, 15 and 30, you can substitute this x value right here with 15, multiply it by 0 0.5, and you'll get 0 0.7. And, but this coordinate shows that the y value is 30. So that means that this point is not on the line. Now let us look at lines that are parallel to the axis. Now you can see this rectangle right here. And these are the vertices. And what are the coordinates of the vertices here? The coordinate for vertice A is 4. 2. For b, it's 4 and negative 3 and so on. Now you can see that the line AB is parallel to the y-axis. So this line passes through 4 on the x-axis and hence the name of this line is x is equal to 4. Now in case you've forgotten what parallel line is, it's just lines that never meet. So this is the y-axis, this is the x-axis, it's never going to meet. See? And what other parallel lines can you see? That's correct. C and D are on a, on a line parallel to the y-axis. Two. This line passes through negative 3 on the x-axis. Hence the name of this line is x is equal to negative 3. Now let's take a look at another example. A and D are on a line parallel to the x-axis. This line passes through 2 on the y-axis. Hence the name of this line is y is equal to 2. And another C and B is a line parallel to the x-axis, just like this. And uh, this line passes through negative 3 on the y-axis, hence the name of this line is y is equal to negative 3. That's it for today's video. If you liked the video and learned something new today, please drop a like, and if you want more, graph videos and more practice questions for exams, you can comment down below and I'll make a video on it.